How many of you know, know that I kept in one year, the share price gone up 40%. On a three-year basis, the share price went up even further, went up almost 56%, while the MSCI fell 11%. Hello, this is three years, you know, right? On an annual basis, you're compounding at 16% annual return, even though the NAV didn't go up so much. Okay, like three years, maybe another fluke shot. Next. Five years, MSCI plunged 23%. The share price went up 12.6%. The NEV went up 7.9%. Okay, that's history. You say that's history. I'm interested in the future. Next. For those who can read technical analysis, or more short term, not so long term, this is daily. The MACD is positive. This is the spike. It went up 40%, right? And then in technical charting terms, it's called a flag, it consolidated. And then now there's a breakout. On a weekly basis, the same thing. So for those who of you who can read MACD and chart patterns, these are bullish signals, right? From a short-term point of view. Next. The more for the more longer term one, ICAP has got, I think you have heard this maybe a million times already, but I have to repeat it. Because you can go anywhere in the world. I guarantee you, London, Sydney, New York, you cannot find a dividend policy that is as innovative as iCapital.bizbrah. So iCap's dividend policy has got two components. A base rate, 1% of NEV. Top up rate, 8% of the difference between the share price and the NEV. And you total this up. Right? The top-up rate will not be applicable if the share price is the same as NAV or at the premium. What you can learn from this is this. Here, the dividend yield has dropped, but you still get a dividend because the discount is there and the base rate dividend is there. But you have enjoyed a capital appreciation from 198 to 276. So your benefit comes from capital appreciation and dividend income. In very layman terms, this is called having your cake and still eat it. No other dividend policy can give you such objectives. Don't think I'm boasting when I say that our integrity standard is the highest among the fund managers in Malaysia. Next year's Investor Day is around October, November. Look out for it. Uh, one way to help the country be a better country is to attend Investor Day. I'm not, uh, jokes aside, because we don't make a cent, we lose money. We, meaning ICAP and Capital Dynamics, lose money when we organize Investor Day. We don't, we lose about 800,000 ringgit organizing this Investor Day, even though you have paid 50 ringgit. It's, we want to reach out to Malaysian individual investors, where most of the time individual investors are not taken care of. You are always neglected. You are always, individual retail investors are always seen as somebody where, hey, very naive or very ignorant, never mind, can con them. And true, most of the time you are con. So we want to rectify that and make you into thinking investors, better investors, smarter investors.